Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Ferlici Friday. It feels like forever since I've done one of these. It's oh, I only skipped last week. Um, but yeah, it feels like a lot longer than that because that was like the day after Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving feels like quite a while ago, doesn't it? So yeah, we're moving on into December holiday time. Hopefully you guys are all getting excited for Christmas, for the holidays. Maybe, hopefully, hello, Philomena, you have been working on maybe your Christmas cards, your projects or treats or whatever you're going to be giving to people this year. So yeah, I'm a little behind. I will have to say that, but it feels like that's always the case. So anyway, it'll all, it always all gets done, right? So yeah, so we have an awesome Facebook Friday today for you. Basically, let me, oh my gosh, I'm like super excited. I, I kind of, this is this kind of the weird in between time where it's almost too late to show Christmas stuff because if you order it, you probably won't get it in much time to be able to do anything with it. So I was like, okay, we are moving on. We're gonna play with some products that I've had kind of on my shelf in my craft room for a while that are beautiful. The designer series paper, one of my absolute favorites, and then this fun stamp set. So today, <clears throat> And I thought we could all, all use a little bit of sun right now, right? So we're going to play with the Sunny Sentiment Stamp Set today. And I'm going to have to flip this over so I can read them to you this way because I can't read them backwards. We've got Thought You Could Use Some Sunny Thoughts today. That's that one right there. A happy hello to you. This one is super tiny. I know we've been out of touch, but I think about you more often than you know. I like that one a lot too, right? Then we've got hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. That's that one right there. And then the last one is a thank you for all of the all the little things you do and for your big heart. So hey, Kathy, hello. Thank you for joining us. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun playing with this stamp set. And then the gorgeous Expressions in Ink Designer Series Paper. So I'm gonna just show you from the catalog because I think this is the best way to see this designer series paper is actually, can you guys see very well? Maybe I should go this way there. Maybe you can see a little bit better, but look at all the beautiful, this is just gorgeous paper. And it was on back order for quite a while this summer. So I didn't, I think I ordered some and then I put it in the paper share and then I never really had it to play with. So it's one of those that's been like, hey, Amy, um, we need some love over here. You know, like my products talk to me a little bit. Do your products do that to you too? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I had to um, pull that out and play with it because it's been like, hey, Amy, we, we need some love over here. So yeah, we gave it some love today and I'm super excited. I've got their fun, like fun fold cards too. So we're gonna have lots of fun playing with those. Um, products. In the meantime, what else? I got to check my already. Oh, <clears throat> while we were in Chicago, Lily and I went to Chicago for the weekend and we had so much fun. The weather was like amazing. So for like, especially like uh, right on Lake Michigan, everyone always like thinks it's, you know, so windy, windy city, which I think that's more they said to do with politicians than actually the, the wind. Um, I don't know. I think it's probably both. But um, anyway, so it wasn't that windy, though. It was like really um, like mid to upper 40s, I think, which for Chicago in December is really, really pleasant, like balmy almost. Um, so we went downtown Friday night and we walked up and down Michigan Avenue and we went to Millennium Park and we just saw lots of lights. And oh, my gosh, there was caroling in Millennium Park. Um, they had a whole bunch of um, trees and oh my gosh, it was just like the lights were gorgeous. So that's why I love to go downtown is to be able to see all of that. We rode the train, we rode the L. Um, I always think that's so fun. That like takes me back because way back in the day, um, I lived in Chicago and we rode the train an awful lot to get everywhere we needed to go because I didn't have a car for a couple years that I was there. So Anyway, just kind of takes you back in time, right? It's fun to go back to those places like when you were younger, right? It makes you feel a little bit young again <laughs> or old because you're like, wow, that was a really long time ago. But anyway, and then we did a craft fair on Sunday. This friend of mine, my old roommate um, from when I lived in Chicago, actually, Stacy, um, uh, we stayed with my friend Stacy and she's gotten into the whole paper crafting thing as well. I've showed her, you know, on and off for years. She's kind of always like, what are you doing over there? Um, so now she likes to buy products and make cute things and you know you kind of get to that point of like okay you know hello Anna um you're making all these things and you're like okay what am I going to do with them all you give you know you give lots of them away and then 
like you kind of want to make more. So a fun thing to do is to go to a craft fair, like be a vendor at a craft fair, make all this cute stuff, set it out on your pretty table, your pretty display and sell it. Cause then you can get some money and then you can make some more cute stuff. So plus it's fun to meet people, share what you're doing. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad you can join us on the live again as well, Anna. So yeah, that was last weekend. So that's why we weren't doing Facebook live cause we were on our way. It's like a four or five hour drive from Alma to Chicago so it's not a bad drive although <laughs> Sunday Sunday was the craft fair and I was kind of itching to get on the road because I had heard it was supposed to be snowy and ugly like the whole drive home which fortunately it didn't snow so it wasn't like icy you know difficult but it rained like literally for five hours on the drive home which normally I would not be loving that but I was actually like saying like thank you thank you thank you that it was warm enough that it was rain and not snow so we made it home safely but we've been we've been traveling a lot lately so it's good to maybe be home for a little bit so all right let's see i think oh i want to do a quick reminder <clears throat> the mini the mini catalog the july to december i'm still calling it the holiday mini catalog they have stampin up has released the retiring the last chance product list from this catalog and I don't know if you can see, um, well, I guess there aren't too many highlights right there yet. Can you guys even see that? But I went through and highlighted my catalog. So if you're coming to class this afternoon, I have um, copies that are highlighted, but can you see, like, can you see all the bright highlights in here? Probably not super well, but lots and lots and lots of stuff is retiring. So make sure you get on and order what you would like from this holiday mini catalog ASAP. I actually um, went to put an order in the other day and one of the bundles that another friend of mine wanted to order the stamp set was already sold out, which is weird, I think, because Stampin' Up! makes all their stamp sets. So it was the dies that they had and not the stamp set. So, because it, it used to be that they would just keep making stamp sets, but they're not obviously doing that any longer. Um, so yeah, everything is truly while supplies last. Um, anything that's on the last chance list from the um, holiday mini catalog. So get what you want before it goes. Um, what is the last day? It's listed in very small, like, Teeny tiny, can I even read that? Somewhere, <laughs> I literally cannot. I think it's like January 2nd or something like that. So you have, I would say, um, you know, till the end of December, but then maybe a couple of days into January. Hey, Julie, hello, how are you? I'm so glad you can join us today. So yeah, get what you need before it's gone forever. And then as well, <clears throat> And this is like my little leftover, <laughs> what I have left from the Ever Eden Designer Series paper, which I think it gives you a little cross section of the beautiful colors in there. We've got the Evening Evergreen and the Soft Succulent and then some gold accents on there too. So this paper is also, this was like that kind of quick release um, with the stamp set and the dies, the Ever Eden um, or the Eden's Garden, I think it's called Stamp Set and Die. So those are going to show up in the next mini catalog. This designer series paper is not though. This is one of those limited time only. So if you like this paper, make sure you order this paper. And then as well, the Garden Gems. I'll show you guys those. We used the designer series paper and these beautiful Garden Gems on projects that we made a couple weeks ago on Facebook Live. Um, because I wanted to make sure everybody saw those products because they're not, you can't really, you can only see them online. Like they're not in a catalog yet until you get your new mini catalog, your new um, January to June mini catalog. The Eden's Garden stamp set and the Eden dies will be in that catalog, but not again, the DSP or the gems. So order those things, the designer series paper and the gems. If you'd like them, order them now because they could sell out too. Um, oh, and that was the other thing though. I wanted to make sure to mention, if you would like a catalog mailed to you, please let me know. I am putting together some other fun little things that I will be including with catalogs so I can mail you the new January to June mini catalog and the celebration brochure because we have another celebration coming up um, beginning of January. So if you would like those catalogs mailed to you, just comment right on here, send me a, um, an email, a Facebook message, whatever is easiest in terms of communication for you just let me know and give me your address if I don't have that and I will get those catalogs sent out to you so yeah there's some like lots of fun new things in there right it's always fun to get fresh new products to play with so 
All right, I think let's go ahead. We're gonna do our first drawing. And I've seen a couple people commenting that they've shared the video. So thank you so much for sharing the video. Your name is actually in my little basket right here. If you shared the last Facebook Live video that we did, or if you're new to me and sign up for my email list, your name is in the drawing to win the glare, right? Those matte decorative dots. So they come in basically like a blue, a green, a yellow, and a red. This is like a bluey green. Um, and I don't think they list the colors on here. I feel like <clears throat> evening evergreen, old olive, maybe daffodil delight or crushed curry, and maybe real red. I don't even know for sure. Um, but they're part of that fun um, stocking suite that's in the holiday catalog. So we're gonna draw right now one lucky winner will be getting the matte decorative dots. They'll be winning these. Okay, so shaking these around. Who is the winner? I have one name in my hand and it goes to Miss Vina Gomez. She's always a faithful watcher and sharer of the video. So thank you, Vina. I appreciate you watching and sharing the video. So I will get those matte decorative dots sent out to you. All right, let me just get them out of the way. Okay, I gotta get those names out and then Get ready, oops, for our next drawing. Make sure I get the names in there. So in the meantime, we have, this is, these are so cool. These are called the paper lattice. So I don't know if you can see them very well on here. I was actually thinking I might include them in um, my class to go, the plentiful plants class to go, because that's it's part of that suite of products, again, in the annual catalog. And I didn't end up using them, um, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna give them away. So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live, the paper lattice. I think it comes with 10 of them in a package. I wanna see if I can find, did it, oh, I thought I thought I wrote somewhere what page that was on, but let's see if I can find, because I think they almost do a little bit better job of showing them in the catalog, I guess, because they're not all like stacked on top of each other, but this is, what the paper lattice looks like in the catalog. So you get 10 of those and they actually, so it's fun that um, Plentiful Plants stamp set, you know, you can like hang, um, hanging pots and flowers and things on the lattice is the idea. So super fun, um, something different that we haven't had before. And they fit perfectly on a card front or a scrapbook page or whatever else you want to do with them. So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live that we're gonna do next Friday. Um, yeah, we'll be back here live next Friday at 11.30 for our next Facebook Live, okay? So I want to also welcome, we had two um, additional people by the starter kit in our group, in our Expired Stampers group, so I want to welcome, we have Miss Sandra Johnson and Carolyn Prahin, both bought the starter kit in November. They took advantage of that awesome, um, like that, the, it's not even mini, it was like mini price, basically. So they um, only paid $75 and got $125 in product in their starter kit. So they took advantage of that awesome deal and are now um, expired stampers. They've joined our group, our team, um, and we're happy to have them join us. So welcome to Sandra and Carolyn. So congratulations, ladies. We're excited to have you be a part of our group. Uh, let's see, so I'll, what else? I've got some other things. What do we, oh, I wanna show you guys. So we have, um, this is the little treat that I made everybody last month, and I couldn't remember whether I shared it or not, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just share it again. Um, <laughs> you're very sweet, well, uh, Philomena. Um, this was actually an awesome treat that I received from a friend of mine when we went to do like a crafting weekend together at her house. Um, Jennifer made this for everybody. We had these on our table when we got there um, to her house. She, <laughs> oh yes, and Philomena's talking about the calendar too. I'm gonna show those um, because yeah, I'm still working on getting those um, finished up to give to everybody. But this is what I gave um, last month in November. So yeah, I'm working a little bit, I guess in sharing because I don't like to um, spoil the surprise um, for those people that haven't gotten their club member treat yet either. So thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed that calendar too um, but yeah so this was a fun little it's just like a little box that and this just pinches together the kind of fun thing is you can actually kind of um, do that and then the treat will pop right out so you don't even have to like take the ribbon off or anything and then it just stays I don't know why I always love that it just stays right intact 
um, in there so that you can enjoy. And I'm always like, okay, so if you happen to like eat the little treat that's inside, you can just pop that open and put another one um, right back in there. Mary Ellen, hello, welcome. I think I saw it was your birthday recently too. So congratulations and happy birthday to you, Mary Ellen. I'm glad to have you join us. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, these are just fun little, so can you guys see that, that beautiful um, cherry cobbler and gold ribbon? Um, and then this stamp set that of course I don't, I think it's down at, um, the church for class right now because I'm drawing a blank on the name, but I know this stamp set and the, both of these stamp sets and dies, I believe are carrying over. Actually, I can find them in my catalog because I loved those were, I think those, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I flipped right to the page. I know what's happening. The bundles are retiring, but the stamp set and the dies will still be available just sold separately. So for example, this is the stamp set that I used, um, like those little guys right there. You're welcome, Mary Ellen. Um, and then let's see, the seasonal label dies, those dies that I use all the time. So they've got labels and then they do cut out some of the images from the stamp set too. So the bundle where you save the 10%, that is retiring, but the stamp set and the dies will be sold separately. Same thing with the Christmas to remember stamp set will still be available and then the dies that go with it but the bundle will not again so if you like those things get the bundle while you can um yeah because then why not save your 10 percent, right okay <clears throat> let's see we are moving right along what i want to share with you guys now well so if you're new to me, maybe if you don't know um, how we do things on our Facebook Lives, right? I always demonstrate two projects that are then um, a thank you to you if you put an online order in through me. So the last Facebook Live that we did, we made these two cards, these beautiful, I'll show like one with that silver foil and there's one with the gold accents and we did some embossing, such beautiful, um, and then that well-defined stamp set we use too. So if you put an online order in through me, hello Deb, you'll be getting these two cards as a thank you from me for your order, right? Your name is in the drawing and I decided I was gonna give away both of these stamp sets. So your name is in the drawing right now to win either the Welcoming Wood stamp set or the Delivering Cheer stamp set. Um, if you bumped your order up to $50, you also got to pick from, so here is the, oh, oh my gosh, I don't even have the December one. <laughs> I'm looking at this, my Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Um, this is the November one, but there's a December one now. Um, so yeah, apparently I never even printed it, so I'm going to have to do that. Um, well, anyway, so you get to pick from the tutorial, which actually this is my project in the tutorial this month. So loving that gingerbread designer series paper. Totally love the red ribbon, the sheer ribbon that is retiring. So bummed about that because I love working with this. Use the wonderful gems and then some of the snowflake dies that are also part of the gingerbread and peppermint suite. So fun little project right there. The instructions on how to make that card are in the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial along with 15 other projects in there as well. So for a $50 order, you can pick again from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or I've got these garden gems that we're gonna give away as the free embellishment. So you can pick either one, the PDF tutorial or the garden gems as a thank you in addition for your order if it's over $50. Okay, so that's all month long. I'll be um, offering either the PDF tutorial or the gems as a free thank you in addition to the projects that we make on Facebook Live. So let's go ahead and do our drawing. Now I'm gonna draw for, we're gonna do the Delivering Cheer stamp set first, and then we will draw for the Welcoming Woods stamp set, okay? So, <clears throat> And thank you guys. I know um, the week before I didn't have any online orders and I was gonna give away that Welcoming Wood stamp set. And so I said, if I get at least two online orders, we'll give both of these stamp sets away. So you guys heard my call, I think. So thank you. It I it just, um, it means a lot to me, honestly, because that's basically supporting my business um, is putting those orders in. That's what helps me keep going, doing these Facebook Lives each week is your online order. So thank you. I know you have lots of different demonstrators to choose from. So every time you put an order in through me and use the host code that I am offering that month, I truly, truly appreciate that. So thank you guys. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna draw first for the Delivering Cheer stamp set. 
and that is going to go to Miss Linda Dennis. All right, congratulations, Linda. You are the proud new owner of the Delivering Cheer stamp set. Okay, and then we have, we're gonna draw now for the Welcoming Woods stamp set. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> this woman just drove by with her dog. You gotta love that when their heads are sticking out the window. <laughs> Hello, Susan, how are you? Thanks for joining us. You're so sweet with all your hearts and um, thumbs up. Okay, so here we go. Next winner. Oh, I've got like two in my hand. I gotta, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, all right, there's one. There we go. Oop, there we go. Miss Kay Jacoby is the winner of the Welcoming Wood stamp set. So congratulations, Kay. I will send that stamp set out to you. So again, thank you guys for your orders. I truly appreciate that. <clears throat> Okay, so you guys want to see what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live. This is such a cute stamp set, and I love that it's kind of got a few different sentiments in it, too. So we've got the Little Delight stamp set, and I, the fun cursive. It's like a playful cursive um, there also. Uh, so we've got Merry Christmas, a Trick or Treat, Ho Ho Ho. What is that one? Birthday Wishes. I can't read them backwards. Um, you're such a blessing, which I know you can't read them backwards either, right? Ooh, ghoulish delights and thank you. And then we've got some fun imagery that kind of works with those sentiments. So cute, fun stamp set that works for lots of different occasions. I love those stamp sets where it's like not just Christmas or not just Halloween. They kind of give you a little assortment there so you can use it all year round. So that's what we'll give away with your online order of at least $30 through me using the host code that is always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and I will include it in the details above this Facebook Live video once I get it uploaded after we're done with Facebook Live, okay? So thank you again. Like I said, I truly appreciate every single order that comes in. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Oh, I moved my notes. I'm like, okay, what are we doing now? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we're ready to, we're gonna flip the camera down. I'm trying to make sure I have everything that I need. Yeah, okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna flip the camera down um, and then I'll show you a couple more things and then we'll do our stamping. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm trying to make sure. The other day, it was, I thought I tightened this all up and then every time I put the phone in, I'm like, oh, it kind of feels like it's loose, but I think we're okay, so let's see. Get things set properly. Okay. All right. You guys can see me. I think we're good. Um, so I wanted to show you guys. Let me show you. We did um, scrapbook class. I guess it was the week before last, right after Thanksgiving. We did scrapbook class. So we made two pages featuring. This is just so cute. I love that gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper and then the fun dyes. Oops, those are kind of popping up. I was like, are those on dimensionals? But I think I just didn't stick them down very well. And then I love this little label die is part of the Pretty Pillow Box dies, which are also not retiring. There's something about that cute little scallopy edge, and then it's got the stitching in it too. So that wishing you a Merry Christmas, super cute, right? And then I love this detail with the craft paper and then the white over top of it, and that's so pretty. So that was one of our pages, and then here's the other coordinating page. We've got the fun little sending you peppermint kisses, right? And then the little peppermints right there. And then some more love. That's a great, kind of shows you um, a bunch of different patterns. And those aren't even all of them, but this is just such cute paper. Now the paper is retiring, so get that while you can. Such cute paper. And then, so those two pages, and then we, we always make three pages. So this was our third page. And then next month, we'll make the coordinating page that I'll show you in just a sec, and then two more pages. So love this Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper too, this beautiful suite as well. Um, and just all the pretty foil paper too, and some kind of different colors, right? I think that's why I was drawn to this this year. And then here is the other half. So those two pages. Again, we made this one last month. So then at our class in December, we'll make this page. And then, like I said, two more. Let's get that. <laughs> I'm a little crooked today. And this is, oh, I love this ribbon. I had yet to play with this. This is a soft succulent. It's a velvet ribbon that's in our annual catalog. And I love, you probably can't hear it, but it's it's beautiful, like velvety ribbon. So, and then just love the colors on that designer series paper too. 
Okay, so <clears throat> now, did I bring that over? Well, I didn't bring my details over for the Plentiful Plants class to go, but I'll just, so maybe I did. Did I? I guess I did. Okay, good. So Plentiful Plants class to go is what we are featuring this month in our class to go. Um, you have until, um, when are RSVPs? Oh, by Thursday, December 23rd. So you still have a couple weeks, maybe 10 days or so, if you would like to order the Plentiful Plants class to go. So we're going to use this awesome Plentiful Plants stamp set. Beautiful. Again, I'm, I'm doing lots of things I can, playing with lots of things to kind of take me back <laughs> or to summer. So always thinking of like beautiful plants, right, in the summertime. And then the dyes that coordinate, right? Then we are also using the Genial Gems on our class to go. And then we used a bunch of, this is called the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. So we used some of the different um, twine in there too. And then the designer series paper that coordinates with um, the Plentiful Plant stamp set and dies. Okay, you get a quarter of a pack of that paper. Okay, so let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you the different options that are available. So, and I think I did some stuff on the inside of some of these. And this is actually the designer series paper. I love that. The dies, they're doing that a lot now where the dies will cut out actual designer series paper. And then we've got this, thank you so very much. So there's one of our cards. Then we've got this, a little note with the biggest thanks. And I think any of these sentiments you could really kind of interchange um, if you wanted to all do thank yous or something. So and then fun stamping on the inside of that one. We got this one, this thank you. Oh, and then the dies. Oh, I love those little dies inside there too. And then last one, we have to a dear friend and love that little hanging pot there also. You were there and I am very grateful. Yes, beautiful um, set of projects, right? Okay, so those are the four cards that we'll make in our class to go. You guys know option number one includes the stamp set, the dies, the twine, the gems, and then like I said, you get the designer series paper, like example right there, right, that we um, will use on these projects. You get that for free in option number one. You also get the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put the cards together. Option number one is $89. Option number two is if you already have the dies, the stamp set and the dies, don't order option number two if you don't have the stamp set and the dies because you have to do your own stamping and die cutting, right? You get the twine, you get the gems, you get the designer series paper, you get the PDF tutorial. Option number two, that is, is $40. Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put these cards together, you're going to do it all on your own. That is $15. It's always available, even after the RSVP deadline passes. And all of my past PDF tutorials are always available as well. You can find those in my PDF store on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you're ever you know, needing some inspiration, you have even an old stamp set, take a peek through there and see if I have a tutorial and maybe you'll come up with some fun projects that you could make. I'm happy to send those tutorials to you anytime. Um, and actually my downline, anyone who's an expired stamper, or if you're thinking about getting the starter kit, know this, that you can get all of my PDF tutorials for free every single month, including any past tutorial as well. Then option number four is the make and takes. For anyone in my expired stampers group, anyone in my downline, you can get just the make and takes, all the parts and pieces for just $12. You do still need your own stamp set and dies to do your stamping and your die cutting. Okay, um, let's see. Like I said, RSVPs are due by Thursday, December 23rd. I didn't want to do the 24th because that's Christmas Eve and people aren't going to be thinking about stamping um, at that point, right? So Thursday, December 23rd, the kits will ship out by no later than January 5th. And if you do need them shipped to you, there's an additional $9 shipping fee for the class to go. Okay, so I'd love to get one of these kits sent out to you. Beautiful projects, like I said, make me think of summer time. All right. <clears throat> okay, I think we are ready. Let me show you the host code while I make sure. So this is our host code for um, De December, the ZV2TQP3H, okay? So we've got that. I have lots. <laughs> that whole crafter math word always comes into my mind <laughs> when I look at um, <laughs> when I look at my table after we're even in the middle of of Facebook lives a lot of days, right? Yes. Oh, thank you, Deb. I'm glad you're enjoying classes. I appreciate that. And we did do a card, didn't we? Not too long ago, with that um, 
that bundle that we used in um, the class to go. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna play with the Sunny Sentiment stamp set. <clears throat> so I've got this super cute card for you with some fun folds. Now I will share with you, I actually received and I, oh, there's no name on the back of this card, but this is a swap that I received. Nikki, hello, how are you? Thank you for joining us. So, like I said, this was a swap card that I received quite a while ago, because that designer series paper hasn't been around um, for a while, but I loved like the layout of it, and so I was like, I just kept it. I keep, I keep lots and lots of cards. I actually was accused of being a hoarder the other day, or a what did they, I can't remember what the word was. not Anyway, I was, I looked in my craft room. I'm like, yeah, I guess you probably might think that when you look in here. <laughs> so anyway, I keep lots and lots of things for inspiration too, right? So I've been wanting to make one of these cards for a long, long time and we finally did. So let me show you this little guy. It's like a belly band that pops off and then this opens up, right? So then you can write whatever you want on the inside of the card. And then that belly band just slips right back on there. So this was the one that I cased from, basically. And like I said, I don't have, there's no marking on the back and I've had it for so long. I don't remember who made it, but I loved it. Um, and so here we go. Now we're gonna make one of our own. So I'll show you again, this little belly band. So this slips off and then and look at, can you get, look at that gorgeous, the Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper. Isn't that beautiful? We use some of the, um, gold foil paper that's in the brushed metallic cardstock. I don't know if I want to put that back on or not, but that then slips right back on there. And then a happy hello to you. Wouldn't that brighten someone's day if you sent them this card? I'm sure, right? Okay, here, this is some of the gold in the brushed metallic cardstock. Isn't that beautiful? You're seeing lots of reflections too. <laughs> okay, so let me pull these things out. Put that right there. Okay, so it's got quite a few pieces to it. So, and again, I, as always, I will upload all the details, um, the, the names of everything, the product codes, the colors, the dimensions, everything will be on my blog. It will probably be tomorrow though, just so you know. Um, because I have class right after this, and I think I'm, I am will not, <laughs> I know I will not have time to get it uploaded before I go to class. So I'll either get it done later this afternoon or tomorrow. It'll be on my blog. So maybe take notes if you want to make something tonight, okay? All right, so here we go. We first have, this is a piece of polished pink cardstock, and this is actually um, the one that goes right here, which I'm looking at, and I'm like, it seems too big. But nope, it's the same width. <laughs> I was panicking. I'm like, did I cut that wrong? So here we go. We have, this is going to be four and one quarter by 11 inches, okay? And we are going to score it at, I want to make sure, because I did these a little while ago. So I'm like, okay, I'm hesitating on my, yep. So four and a quarter by 11. We're going to score it at one and a half, at three, at five and a half, and at eight inches, Okay, oops, that's not quite in view, is it? Let's scoot that up, there we go. So again, four and a quarter by 11, score it at one and a half, three, five and a half, and eight inches, okay? So that's that piece that flips out right there, all right? Then we also, kind of for our card base, we have a piece of thick white cardstock that measures the four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we have a piece of polished pink cardstock that layers right on top. This is the, we're gonna actually emboss this piece. This one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? Then we also have this brushed gold cardstock. This one measures three and one quarter by four and a half. Um, this is my belly band. I'm just like picking up pieces, trying to remember what's what here. This one measures one and a half by 11 inches, okay? Then at some point I have scraps. These are my scraps for this piece and this piece right here. So those you don't have to know dimensions, but these are all the little pieces that go on the flippy flappy things, right? Diana, hello, how are you? Okay, so this is my basic white that measures two and a quarter by four inches. And I'll show you, that's the piece that's gonna go right there. Okay, then where's my skinny little piece? There it is, okay? This one measures a half an inch by four inches, and that one is gonna go right there, okay? <clears throat> then I have another piece, same pattern, 
that measures four inches by two and a quarter, and you can see that's the back side. So that one's gonna go right there, okay? Haha, <laughs> making cookies, yum! That sounds like a great idea. Another two and a quarter by four inch piece with the stripey. That one's gonna go right there. And then we have two more. This is the same designer series paper. Isn't that funny? It actually does have a little pattern on the back, but not right there. So these two pieces are gonna go there and there, and these both measure one and a half by four inches, okay? So lots of pieces, but it's so worth it when you get everything cut and put together. So really, it's mainly just like adhering. We're gonna do, let's do our stamping, and then we'll do our embossing of this polished pink piece, and I'll show you what we're gonna use. And then all of these are just gonna go to put things together. Okay, so we're gonna scoot all that out of the way for a moment. Okay, so we're gonna stamp our in polished pink ink, right? Of course, we've got our cardstock and our ink that coordinate perfectly. The other thing that I love is how well, let's stamp that, yep, a happy hello to you, how well products from the annual catalog, like this Expressions and in Ink Designer Series paper, work with holiday catalog products like that brushed metallic cardstock. I didn't bring it over, but there are three different, there's a gold, a copper, and a bronze in the brushed metallic cardstock. Um, it's beautiful. I know, actually, I think we used it on the projects, wherever those are buried now, right? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we used some more of it on this, those trees right there too. So beautiful brushed cardstock. Okay. I think we are ready. We did the stamping there. Okay, so let me grab my die cutting machine. I did, all of a sudden I was like, did I bring over the, the platform for the embossing folder? But I did, so we're all good. And where are those dies? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Did I take those? <laughs> you know what I think I might have done? I used them on another card, okay. I did, I used them on another card for class and they went in the tub <laughs> to class already. Okay, so we're not gonna do our die cutting, but I'll show you, cause it's, this is so simple. So it's actually these two, can you see that shape right there and that one right there? And they actually um, layer on top of each other. I'm gonna see if we can see them a little bit bigger on page 66. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So it's part of the seasonal labels dies. Can you see that die right there and that one right there? That's what I used, <laughs> sorry about this, on my labels. So the happy hello uses the smaller and then the polished pink behind it uses a little bit bigger. So if I could do that, I would be doing that. I'd be die cutting those. And all I did was adhere the white onto the pink and then I actually put this on with dimensionals. The, the pink label, polished pink label is on my belly band with dimensionals. So. I'll have to complete that later. Sorry about that. I, I'm realizing though that, yeah, I used one of the other labels and some of the other dies um, for another card and then forgot to put it back in here so I could show you on Facebook Live. But you guys get the idea. Okay, so we will do our embossing. We'll get the whole card put together so you'll be able to see and then you'll know how to do that little label at the end. So the painted texture embossing folder is what we're gonna use. So we don't need this one right now. Okay. <clears throat> So we've got our platform. We're gonna put our, so love that. I thought it, it worked really well kind of with the um, patterns in the designer series paper. Just trying to find something that just kind of complemented it that didn't um, detract from it or kind of make it too busy. And I thought this was a good one to use. So love that, isn't that cool? It's almost like a stucco wall or something, right? And you've kind of got both sides there too, so you really see the effect of that. Okay, scoot that out of the way. All right, I think we are ready <laughs> to put things together. So here we go, let me find my adhesive, which I thought I brought over also. I have everything else, I have all my scissors and glue dots and everything. Okay, one moment, I'm gonna go run and grab my adhesive, I'll be right back. Here we go. All right, so we've got, let's go ahead, we're going to, and I like to put a bunch of adhesive on these pieces that are embossed. 
I'm gonna run all along. And you know what, I'm probably gonna like run out. That's the next thing that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of my seal before. <laughs> Hopefully not, we'll see. It, it's running like it's getting toward the end, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so there's like your card base, right? And then we can, let's add, and I gotta tip it back, run it, tip it back. I should be like telling myself that, right? Run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, okay? And this just goes right in the center of all of this. We get that, okay, there we go, right? Now we're gonna kind of set this aside and we're gonna make this whole foldy thing, okay? So this piece is gonna lay down. This one we're gonna fold back this way, this one this way, that one, and that one. So you kind of get the idea, it's gonna zoop, just like that, okay? So now we are going to, do I have my little mat? Yeah, I've got this little piece that I'm gonna add adhesive to. So there we go, we're gonna use this one first. Okay, so I wanna use just a little bit. Is that running? Do that one, and then we're gonna do our white one also. Scoot that up there. And our basic white cardstock, okay? So we're gonna add just this little strip it's gonna go right along there. Yep, just about like that. And then this one is going to fit in beside it. Just a little bit of room. Okay, that one goes there. That one, you know what? It's funny, I was like, did that actually work? It didn't. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I feel like that's moving all over the place. So there, we'll try that again, right? shimmy that around till we get it where we want it. Okay, there we go. All right, now we can add some adhesive behind both of these pieces. Really all of them, just need adhesive now. Okay, all right, so what do we have? The stripey one goes right here. I'm almost like, is that another stripey piece? It looks like, that's funny, the back of it looked so similar. They all do look pretty similar, really. Okay, so that one goes there, and then we're just gonna put some more adhesive on these couple of pieces right here and add them to the front flaps. Okay, so you really see all of the beautiful patterns, and that was another reason why I wanted to use this paper on this card, because there are so many beautiful patterns in this designer series paper. Like, how do you choose, right? Okay, so now we just need to add adhesive on here, and then this will go on our brushed gold metallic piece, okay? One, and let me wanna get a good amount of adhesive on that one. And I found that it was easiest to fold that all up like that, and then, actually, I'm gonna do, I don't know why I feel like I wanna, it's not really gonna matter, right? Upside down, <laughs> it's all the same, whichever way you go, right? But there we go, okay. So I'm gonna let that, and then I'm gonna press firmly. There was something about having it on that side that was easier for me to work with. But there we go, okay? So there's your card. You see how easy that is, right, to put that together? Now, what I recommended was to actually just, I didn't even score this, because I kind of like the idea of just put it on there and kind of wrap it around. And I wanna, I liked that it was popping open a little bit, so I don't wanna push really, really hard. Um, I just want to run this around, maybe about like that. And then we're just going to add some adhesive on the back of here. Okay. Let's get that. Just trying to make sure it's lined up so it doesn't look really crooked, right? I'm pressing a little bit, but I want to leave a little bit of poof or give there. And then you can always... Um, Jean, hello, how are you? Thank you for joining us today. So there, you can see how it kind of pops up a little bit. All right, so then, let's see. We're gonna slide that down on there, right? And then if we <laughs> had our dies, we would be die cutting both of these things and putting them right on there, just like that is. Then we would be tying one of the beautiful gold, this is, the gold shimmer ribbon, right? So we would tie a little bow, we'll do that, right? 
And lastly, after we tie our bow, I'm gonna just have this all made and ready to go so that when I do have my dies, I'll be able to pop that right on my little label right there, right? And then lastly, we add, added a couple of the brushed metallic adhesive back dots on either side. So they come in, I don't know, that's gold, that's bronze, and that's something else. <laughs> so yeah. But you get the idea, right? So you, I know you guys would know how to make one of these cards after I showed you this, right? So love, love, love that fold, right? Love the designer series paper. So many cute, sunny sentiments in this stamp set, right? A happy hello to you is what we use there. Okay, so let me show you. I've got one more card. It's a little, it's um, a fun fold, not as intricate, I guess I would say, but still very fun, very, very fun. Um, actually, let's keep that one out. Okay, let me scoot this stuff all out of the way. Okay, I am going to clean off my little stamp here with my chamois. You guys all have a chamois, right? Love the chamois, excuse me. Actually, as I hit that, I'm like, oh, I think I could use a sip of water. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> next project this right here. Oops, I have some more notes to myself. <laughs> okay, so we've got this one. Thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. And then I stamped on the inside. I know we've been out of touch, but I think about you more often than you know. So isn't that beautiful, right? Love. And then more of the beautiful designer series paper, that expressions and ink designer series paper. And then a little fun fold there for you also. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, and actually I have two. These were two different swap cards that I received. Actually, this one was from Michelle Welling. She sent this to me a little bit ago and I loved that fold on her card, right? Like that. And then this was another one that I had received. This was a swap, probably last celebration when this paper was um, first coming out, right? That little hello friend thinking of you. So I was, like I said, I keep all of my cards, right? So I had to, um, I was like, I really want to make that fold also. So, okay, let's see. Mm, what do we need? Let's do our stamping. No, no, I got to tell you the dimensions, don't I? Don't forget to do that, right? Okay. So here we go. We have a piece of, this is our pale papaya cardstock that measures the four and a quarter by 11 inches. And we essentially scored it at two and three quarter inches on both ends. So here and here, or at two and three quarters and eight and one quarter. And so that is gonna fold in just like that, okay? Then we have a couple pieces of, this is pear pizzazz cardstock. You wanna have two of these pieces that measure two and a half by four inches. And those are gonna go on both of those flaps right there and there, okay? And then we have our gorgeous Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper. And you can see there's a little bit of gold accent on those. These pieces measure two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And those are what are gonna layer right on top of there, okay? Then this is our basic white piece for the inside of our card that measures the four by five and a quarter inches. And then these are both for the label dies and the sentiment, which I do have here. So we will be able to complete this card. So woohoo, <laughs> I'm happy about that. Okay, so let's do our stamping. And actually, let's scoot these guys out of the way too. I decided I wanted to use on the inside of this one, I still did, thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. And then on the inside, and thank you for all the little things you do and for your big heart. So I thought those, so many great sentiments, right? And a great birthday one. That was the only one I didn't use. So we've got lots of beautiful sentiments. Hello, Miss Becky. Well, you're better late than never, right? Thank you for joining us. And thank you for the share too. Okay, so we have our pale papaya ink. All right, we are going to stamp on our basic white. So this is the one we're gonna die cut with our label. Okay, thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. So those are both gonna be die cut. And then this is our thank you that's gonna go on the inside. There we go. Thank you for all the little things you do and for your big heart. Okay, all right, now we can die cut our labels. So I'm feeling the need to clean today. So let's just use our little chamois and clean our ink off of those. So those are all set, all right? Okay, we're gonna do our die cutting now of these two pieces using 
Um, these are like sticking. These are the Stitched So Sweetly. These dies that have been so popular for so long have loved these things. We're gonna use the third largest, well, the second largest and the third largest. So the second largest goes there, or no, the third largest and the second largest. So we just didn't use the biggest one, <laughs> okay? All right, let me grab my die cutting machine. Actually, let me just scoop these things out of the way. Okay, can you guys see what we got going there? Okay, all right, are those gonna be able to fit this way? I don't know, I think we're gonna go this one here and this one here. Okay, so we just have to make sure this one is lined up nicely and then that one just needs to be on the cardstock. <laughs> okay, so we're good there. So if I didn't say, this is obviously basic white cardstock and then um, a piece of pale papaya cardstock. Just needs to be big enough to fit those dies on there, okay? Ooh, forever love the stitching and the sweet little scallops. So cute, ladies, so cute. And then we've got this one, another with the stitching and the baby scallops. So, 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 just precious, just precious, right? Okay, all right, scooting that out of the way. All right, I think we are ready to put things together now. So we're gonna put our sentiment on the inside, okay? I'm still praying, I see the red right there. <laughs> I'm praying that we can get through our Facebook Live with this adhesive. We shall see. Okay, so we're gonna add some here and here and here. I should be saying that, run it, flip it back, run it, flip it back, run it, flip it back, run it, flip it back. <laughs> it works though. I'm getting better at it. I still have moments, but not like I used to, which I'm super thrilled about. Okay, those there. All right, run it, flip it back. Oops, there was one, right? Okay, a couple more. Okay, so we're gonna add these right onto our card. Isn't that, oh, this paper is just so pretty. And it's perfect, right? Sunny Sentiments stamp set and the beautiful Sunny Expressions in Ink designer series paper. Okay, so now this piece, I wanna make sure I only put adhesive on half of it because I want it to be able to open, right? So now we're gonna try to line this up Top to bottom, side to side, looks good. Now we're gonna put some dimensionals behind our sentiment and then add this one, oops, on to our other pale papaya label, okay? Just pull those little babies off. Here we go, oh my gosh. When, so this che card would definitely cheer you up, don't you think, if you received that? Thought you could use some sunny thoughts today, right? And then with our Pale Papaya, the Open Weave Ribbon, this is still one of my favorite ribbons. Um, love, I just think it's so easy to work with. I think I need these sheer ribbons as I futz with my bow right now, but it really is. <laughs> Especially when, when you're not doing a Facebook Live, it's really, really easy to work with. Okay. Yep, it's really, really easy to work with, ladies, I promise. <laughs> okay, there we go. Make our little bow, okay. Find our scissors. Oops, I don't wanna cut off. I'm always afraid I'm gonna do that cut off the wrong end. <laughs> okay, now we need a mini glue dot. <clears throat> okay, we're just gonna put, I think it's easiest to just put um, your ribbon right to the glue dot and peel it off kind of with your th finger, thumb, whatever you want to use. We're going to trim that little baby. And then, of course, we had to add some bling, right? So we've got our the 2021-2023 in color jewels. So we're going to grab a couple of our little pale papaya jewels. And I forgot my little take your pick tool. I've been using that more lately. I, I think I mentioned that ever since I watched um, the onstage videos and they used it all the time and I kind of forgot about it because I use my paper snips quite a bit, but that little spatula is so handy on there. 
oops, that dimensional backing, right? You guys get those everywhere, <laughs> would not move. So there we go, just add a couple of little um, jewels and that ribbon and thought you could use some sunny thoughts today, right? Beautiful card, love, yes, would definitely bring some sunshine to someone's day if they received that card in the mail, right? Okay, so as always, the quick recap here, if you are interested in getting both of these cards as a thank you from me, right? Just put an online order in of at least $30 using the host code, the ZV2TQP3H, and I will send you these cards as a thank you. Your name will also go in the drawing on next Friday's Facebook Live to win the Little Delights stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Garden Gems as the free embellishment for this month. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. It was great to have you all hanging out with me and we'll see you again next Friday. Have a good weekend. Bye everybody.